Alright, it took a couple of days for Embark to roll out the update, but we finally get patch 3.4.0. And first of all, if you're a fan of World Tour, or I guess the overall cash out mode in general, most people have been asking now for kind of a more direct competitive experience. Now, according to Embark, you'll be able to play the cash out mode for now Emerald Rewards starting at Emerald 4, going all the way to Emerald 1. I'm not sure how the ranking of this mode will be, and if, you know, I could guess it probably won't include that current, you know, new hype demo MMR system that Embark have been working on um, that's currently live in Terminal Attack. I mean, that, you know, MMR system needs some changes as well um but rather i'm gonna guess that it's gonna be kind of similar to what we've had in seasons previously um where you know game time can mainly help you rank up over the actual skill itself so i guess in question is what's really going to be you know competitive right about this new rank because to me personally it kind of seems as if it's like a a last minute panic or a last minute ditch to add in embark to cash out for like a kind of like a short term w from the community right but in the long run we're just going to go back to the old system where ranks don't really dictate skill right i mean some of you, some of you guys know it's not really that difficult to get to diamond i mean let's be realistic here sure if you're as bad as i am <laughs> you know we do have to play for a way longer period of time to get there but eventually we will be queued in these kind of weird lobbies because the badge doesn't really equal skill and don't get me wrong i'm happy for embark to add in these new additions to ranked for the cash out mode uh i guess it's in it's built into world tour you know to extend beyond gold one as their highest rank to go into emerald you know for new skins etc that's amazing i'm, I'm happy for that but it, it the, the point is is that we're kind of in this weird mashup of the finals right now it's all like i don't know like you know when you get play-doh and then you have like you know all these like nice colors and then it gets ruined when you mash them all together and then it creates this like weird combination the, the finals like ranked kind of feels like that because remember that this is not competitive the finals competitive is completely gone but the finals ranked is like in this really weird state and don't get me wrong i'm you know i'm not specifically saying it's over but uh but it's just it's just not really in the direction that people have been asking for what i kind of meant to say is that this season could have been kind of on the lines of you know the cash out ranked mode with this new mmr system i think would have been a really nice scenario for everyone i think that you know obviously yes we know that the mmr system needs changes but i do like the the rs and the system of that like it's a good base start you know obviously then we can have ranked on the side for for terminal attack as well right so that there's two different things here but it's kind of like now we have ranked in terminal attack but then we have the competitive mode in world tour which is hidden in world tour that you can't get to until you reach gold one so you need to play world tour casually to get to the competitive or ranked scene in world tour do you guys know what i mean i i guess that you know it, it might be different this time surely right but but either way you know we'll see when it's live but overall it just kind of reinforces my old point that i've made for so so long is that the finals is a casual game rather than a competitive one and it will be for some time so it's either embark takes the direction of hyper focusing on the competitive scene until the competitive scene are happy because as soon as the competitive scene are happy you don't need to actually make that many changes by the way or they just say you know we're going to focus on on the roots of the finals what makes the finals fun and just refocus on the casual side right because I, I don't know i feel like they're trying to do both at the same time but either way we're going to go into the balance changes this week and explosives are actually at the forefront of the adjustments basically to summarize embark kind of want to make um aoe which is area of effect a bit more consistent for players so what they've done is they've adjusted some values to kind of respect that in in the damage and, and essentially this time it will be kind of be given linearly from the center to the outside of the explosion range on screen is uh, a few of the weapons and gadgets affected by this change but basically to summarize you'll benefit a lot more with running explosions in your loadout on average one of the huge changes is actually the rpg has increased radius from 4.5 meters to 5.5 meters so that's going to be quite impressive. Uh, again, I did some testing here, as you can see in the background. Next up is the game mode themselves. And Embark actually say that they want to smooth out some rough edges to give a better experience for these casual modes. Okay, people have been saying to me, Thick, Sticks, you know, the game is broken right now. The 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 things do damage behind the walls. I mean, and everyone's doing it with the mannequins. This is why, you know, you, you have a trusty person like me, you know, Thick, yeah, that's it real muscles real life because this is why you test it on real players the, these things it does not do what you're saying and i'll show you guys right now so let's just say a nice wall here okay similar to what everyone's saying in the mannequin room i'm gonna put my player behind the wall right here okay and you'll see that this is not true it's just literally a mannequin bug you can even see the guy's 
uh, hand through the wall. So, boom. There you go. Everyone calm down. See? Full health. Like, jeez, man. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's a bug with the mannequins, but, like, you guys just... I don't know. Let's try on another... Let's try on another place. Maybe it is... Maybe it is bugged and it's just me and I'm doing it on soul. But this is why, you know... But let's do it with the C4 as well. So, C4. Right by the wall. Right by the player. 3, 2, 1, bang. As you'll see, full health. Guys, come on. Chill, boys. Like, come on. So, Bankit has actually completely removed team wipes. They've decreased the respawn time from 17 seconds to 10 seconds. And they've added the ability for players to swap contestants while coined. Terminal Attack has also made some changes. They've gone from a 25 second down to a 20 second warm up duration, which is that kind of blue area thing. And they've also had a decreased round duration from 150 seconds to 130 seconds. So this means that the pacing of Terminal Attack is going to need to, I guess, be a little bit faster, meaning that it could obviously force players to actually plant the key instead of going for eliminations. But, you know, it's a 20 second difference, so I don't think it will affect it that much. On to the other changes for the gameplay itself. They added support for enabling multiple custom weapon animations at once. So basically, if you own multiple animations for a weapon, it will actually randomly select one of them that you queued with, which is actually awesome. This is a great step, and um, I'm, I'm going to say it hopefully then down the line, we can kind of use this for like, say, multiple skins, right? Where, you know, each spawning you get from being coined, for example, you have a random mix of skins in your in-game roster, and you know, one spawn Spawn in could be like the diamond AK, or another spawn in could be um, a different skin from the AK collection. Just a, a nice little type two addition for that. Another change as well, which is quite nice, is that you can now have text chat in the menus when you're in a party. Again, smaller touch of the game, but obviously very effective overall. Of course, we obviously saw the preview video here from the finals. Of course, we have the new frog skin uh, coming into the game, and then obviously the new uh, sniper rifle. So, of course, we're going to load up the game and see what it looks like in game. My update has uh, just finished and we'll bring that to you very shortly. All right, here we are back on the finals and then boom, when we click on store, of course we got the top three things here. So actually a little bit different. We have a square face watch right here. It says stay charged and on time. Very nice. Not really in my opinion worth 800 multi bucks, which if you guys want the currency conversion, uh, it's about like five, like, it could be, but basically you have to pay like eight pound, right? But it's around about like six, seven pounds for a watch thing in the game. Not really worth it in my opinion. Uh, not for me. We have obviously the, the Pond Dweller set here. Um, the story of the frog onesie uh, is essentially that uh, someone asked in the Easter egg channel uh, for Rob if they could have like a petition to do like a frog onesie. And it was like, you know, we'll add a frog sticker in the game if, you know, you get like 200 signups. Well, we went further than that, and we were at, like, a thousand. So then Rob was like, okay, we'll add a charm for, like, a thousand. And then it went from a thousand to, like, hey, we'll do, like, if it's, like, three thousand or something, or, like, five thousand, I don't know how much it was, a lot. You know, we'll add an, an entire bundle. And, uh, Embark have gone through and done that. So, again, you know, we talk, uh, smack about the, uh, the state of competitive and ranked. This is why I said this game should just focus on uh, casual at this point because they're so good with the community stuff. I mean, look at this. This is this is this is all from the community um, getting this stuff combined together, right? So obviously, it's going to be a, a it has a nice story behind it. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, chill. Oh my god, I'm down bad for my contestants. So yeah, let's just buy this bundle. Oh, uh, guys, I cannot keep backing up the files. <laughs> Oh, Embark. <laughs> Dude, it feels like the, the community is, like, on fire right now. We have, like, some, like, weird, like, schizo posts. This is actually, like, some kind of parasocial, like, crazy stuff. It's like, if you're a new player, do not play the finals until Terminal Attack is removed. Maybe people <laughs> don't want to play Terminal Attack in the first place. Maybe people like, you know, the normal power shift mode, or they like Bank It, for example, like, yeah, I get why people were saying this if you're like a competitive player, but dude, this is actual parasocial schizo stuff that does know anything about video. This is a guy that has just actually gone full schizo in life. Okay, we have the candid moment set. Capture every moment of the action. This is actually super cool. So we have like a a uh, classic camera built in and uh, people were saying, you know, oh, kill cams are in the game. You are right. This is a, a brand new kill cam literally kill cam right in the game uh so i'm not too sure like what happens to the picture i don't know if it's like a screenshot when you get a kill that is actually super cute i love this this is actually cute as hell i want this image i'm gonna buy 
I'm gonna buy the bundle. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the bundle. This is kind of cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this out in game with you guys. All right, my game crashed. Uh, no, sorry, my PC blue screened. Um, so this game really doesn't like me today. I managed to pick up the frog outfit and the sniper. God damn. And I was in the middle of playing the off mini game. Uh, but yeah, so no idea what's happening. Uh, everything is on fire right now, but it's fine, right? Because, you know, we have the finals podium league, which if you guys don't know, uh, I'm running a uh, casual and competitive league. Today is Division A games, and uh, tomorrow is Division B games, uh, if you want to go check it out. It's a really fun, uh, awesome way to uh, play the finals with a, a nice community, and I'll be casting your games live on stream. So I uh, hope to see you guys there. I'm streaming it tonight at 7 p.m. for Division A, and then tomorrow at 7 p.m. for Division B. So I hope to see you guys there. All right, King Man can't. Got one player missing. <laughs> Come on, bro, Embark, please. Give me something today, bro. Get, let me, there we go, there we go, there we go. God damn it. Let me get it. Oh, it shows his player tag. That's pretty cool. It only took me about two minutes to get one kill. Oh, God. Oh, Dixie with the flick. Okay. This is the frog. Uh... It's okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wait, what? Well, here's the Toad King. Hell yeah. Now, where's my animation gone? There it is. The AK. This is the jackpot juggle. And then... Jackpot juggle. And then... Yeah, that's a really cool addition. I like that. Really clean. And then we've got... For the inspect. Ammo audit. Clean. Of course. Prime time. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. 